Hello again, everybody. Um, the second part of the video with our service request, which was shown in the first part, here I'm going to show you how um, you set up all the stuff in Service Manager. So here's our service request, and it's finished. And how this works in Service Manager. First, start with the runbooks I showed you. So please generate runbooks and synchronize these three runbooks into the service manager database with the um, orchestrator connector. You will find the runbooks on our website datacenterautomation.at so you can import them simply. Um, if you have that you need a runbook activity templates. The first one is a find manager of the group and you create it and uh, activate it here in the runbook. You select the runbook uh, which actually does it, and we hand over the activity GUID uh, to identify it in Orchestrator. The second one is the runbook which actually um, adds the user to the group. Same story here you have the runbook already imported, it's ready for automation and uh, we hand over the activity GUID I should correct that, this should be named activity GUID because um, it is the object GUID okay then what you saw already in the first video is the service request template which is this one and uh, you may add parameters as you like in the front here and be aware to put the three runbooks in this order so get manager of the group, re uh, review activity and finally uh, add user to the group so that's it. If you have created that um, you may be able to publish your request offering on the self-service portal um, and here happens the data mapping so it is this one put on user to a group and we are selecting this template we just created and I just showed you then there are two uh, things to enter for the user. The first one is uh, text and the second is the AD group which is a query and the configuration of these um, in the first one we just simply use any string you might uh, tell the user to put at least 10 um, letters and the second one is the query of the AD group what we do is we query the Active Directory group in Service Manager then you might add criteria uh, which groups are shown then we show the user the display name, distinguished name um, FQDN, object grid and see you might configure this as you want and finally we link uh, this object, this group, to the runbook user to group. Okay, so can, we can use it later in uh, Orchestrator. Uh, now for the data mapping, um, the review activity has the string uh, why the user needs it in the description and that's all because all other objects are linked via uh, via the service request here, so as you saw and um, yeah, so we can use it. Okay, that's it. So you publish it and that works great. Uh, you can use the files from our website and configure it. Okay, hope you have fun. Bye.